Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm working on my junk journal tonight. Um, go ahead and grab whatever you're working on craft-wise and maybe join me as I do this. Um, I have said before that I like to just, in this book, do more of a smash book style. So just to show you here quickly, I just kind of put things in wherever I think they would be fun to put in. They're not necessarily chronological. I will put things in like here. This was from some seeds, postcards, uh, different stickers or packaging that I just thought looked cool. I like the colors or the graphics or whatever. This one's kind of fun. I was just collecting a lot of stickers there from different products. So I'm going to continue on. Last time or two ago I did a unboxing of my Paper Penguin Company Traveler's Notebook inserts. So I'm just saving a little bit of that packaging and I'm just, I kind of just ripped it off of the invoice. I think their little logo is cute and I also want to remember these companies that I ordered from in case I want to get something again. This was there too little penguin guy so I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue if I can get it to come to the bottom or to the top however you want to look at that and I'll just kind of overlap that there so that's how I have been doing this journal just grabbing something that I want to use doesn't have to be in order gluing it in wherever it looks like it's going to fit or wherever I like it. There were a lot of cute little things with that. Here's the Happy Mail sticker. Nothing better than getting Happy Mail when you're doing crafts and stuff. I think that's a lot of fun. And then there was this guy, but he kind of got ripped. So I think I will not put that in, but there was a nice card in there. Um, little note from Dominique. So I'm going to save that, but I'm not sure. Maybe I will. I'll just do that. I'll just clip it on there. Got some paper clips handy on the shelf right behind me, behind the camera. And I'll just do that. And then I can take that out and read that little personal touch. There's a thank you note from another event, but I just, I'm like overlapping things. I'm layering it and I'm actually like having a lot of fun with this but I'm ready to move in to a different book I have a lot of embellishments in this and it's just getting a little bulkier maybe than I would like it to be I might do my next journal scrapbooking journal memory keeping journal a little differently than this one um, this is a fun junk journal. I, I made it a while back, but it's not my favorite look. It's It was primarily black and white. Um, I was expecting somebody else to get it and, and they didn't. So anyway, I'm using it instead, which is okay, but I would use more color and different color. I um, soaked some spaghetti sauce jars and got these labels off. And I'm almost thinking that could be fun right there on the cover. It doesn't go perfectly. I have these flowers on the front and a little bit on the back. But I don't... It needs something here. So what do you think? Maybe I'll just do that. Add a little bit more texture to the front. A little more visual interest. And mix up the color scheme just a little bit and add the look that I like. I, I'm more, uh, I guess, vintage-y and, um, but not like real Victorian-y, just kind of, um, I don't know, like that. Colorful and maybe a little bit with an old-fashioned flair. So I'm gonna add that and let's see, we just went to a local ball game. We have a <clears throat> team in the area called the River City Rascals and my husband and I help with Operation Christmas Child as year-round volunteers. So there was a ball game and they had kind of a 
a bit of a promotion for Operation Christmas Child. So, um, I want to commemorate that evening with using the ticket stub. I have showed this glue before, but I will point it out again. It's this Tombow Aqua Mono Liquid Glue. I don't know what you're supposed to call it. Tombow is the brand, but this liquid glue, it's really great. It's got the narrow tip and it's got a wide tip. So if you want to um, glue something quickly and use a lot of glue, the wider tip's better. I just like the preciseness and the quickness of the narrow tip, but there is that one there. And this little picture my granddaughter Whitney did for me. Um, in the summer, I usually have a, oh, anywhere from five to six gatherings. We call it Camp Grandtastic, and we get together, my other two, the three of them that are in town, we get together and we do a special themed event um, once a week for several weeks. Anyway, so she wrote a little thank you note for me. We talked about owls and we did, um, well that's her grandpa, he likes airplanes, so that's what that was. My husband is a aviation buff and that's kind of his training too from college. So I found uh, the Missouri Department of Conservation magazine sitting around. We were done with the particular issue. I haven't been faithful at reading it. I keep thinking I will and I'll learn more about wildlife and plant life in our state um, but I haven't done that because typically I'd rather be junk journaling or scrapbooking but it is interesting to me anyway so I took the magazine and found some neat things in it I liked and one was this picture of berries I love berries so that was cool I just thought that looked neat Makes it interesting to look at a little bit of a, looking for some ticket stubs. Oh, here they are. This was from the raffle that we had at the event. My, one of my married sons attended the ball game with his wife and they bought five raffle tickets. Sadly, they didn't win, but we have the ticket to commemorate their generosity. So I'm gonna put that on there. And I have these other ones but I'll probably just pitch those. Typically what I do is I just have this little basket and I have it on my craft counter in our family room and I throw stuff in there that I want to put in this junk journal slap, slash scrapbook slash smash book and just to commemorate all kinds of things. This was a quote that I took a screenshot of a while back. Don't dig up in doubt what you planted in faith by former missionary and author Elizabeth Elliot. And I really love her stuff. She died a while back, but she was just a wise, wise lady who had been through a lot of hardship, but still uh, clung to the Lord, and she just had a great testimony. So I like that quote. It was good for me, and I think it matches well on this kind of vintage looking school workbook page. So... I'm trying to decide how I want to stick that on. I could staple it. I think I'll do that. I'm going to grab my super wham big stapler here. Hang on. It's right underneath where I'm standing. As you can see, it is very big. This works good for making your own traveler's notebook inserts. It's got a long uh, reach to it so you can go in the binding. And this works really well if you're looking for something like this paper pro oh there we go sorry i got this i think on amazon like i get a lot of my crafting things i've used it fairly often um, but it, it's heavy duty and it works really really well so that's a good brand i would recommend it so there now i can see the fun pictures i love these old illustrations i think they're so cute and that allows me to lift that but anyway the layering i like so then I had a little medical procedure done last week, nothing, just a test. So just for the fun of it, I'm going to glue on somewhere here. Oops, look at all the pages I missed. I'll put it down here. Just for the heck of it, why not? 
it was no big deal but it was kind of fun going under for a while and then waking up an hour later and it's like no time had gone by at all the other day my daughter and I stopped in at McAllister's I don't know if they are all over the country but um there's several in our area and they had a free iced tea day so she was helping me with a lot of errands and so forth so I told her hey come with me to the bank we'll get a free iced tea when we're done and I bought her a cookie so I'm just gonna go back when I'm done here in a few minutes and journal thing uh, journal around the entries that I've created um, I have a note here I don't want to have the name out um, but this was a letter I had written to a friend who had had an unfortunately not good cancer prognosis and she has since I like to say relocated to heaven um, but this letter I had written to her when her report didn't come back favorably and I put it in the mailbox and I got to thinking you know I don't know if it's the right time if I should send that to her and I was kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't have sent it well, I went out to the mailbox, and it was still there. The mail hadn't come, but I had forgotten to put on the zip code, which sounds like a little thing, but I felt like God was saying, hey, I've got your back. You know, my intentions were good, but it might not have been a timely letter to her. She probably needed more encouragement at that time, and I think it had a little bit of a not-so-happy tone even though I was trying to be understanding and supportive anyway so that I kept that and it's just as a good reminder to me that to listen to God to follow his leading and to remember that he is also looking out for me and will help me to do the right thing when that's where my heart is at um, but also it's good to heed that warning, you know, when your conscience is saying, no, don't do that. You don't have that, like, peace factor, I like to call it, going on. It's better just to step back a little bit. This is from the um, Nature magazine also that our state puts out. Um, I'm sure all the states do in the United States. Maybe other countries have those, too. Um, I thought it was cool. I like the Luna Moth. When we first started homeschooling um, years ago, we saw a luna moth out on our front porch and I showed the kids and I thought it was really cool. I hadn't seen one in person before and it was on our lamp on our front porch. And so when I see those now, I, um, I kind of remember back when my kids were all young and we started the homeschool journey and just felt like that was a special little thing to have that appear and it was kind of my thing to start noticing nature and noticing a little bit more about the world around me so that I could impart some wisdom to my kids in that area. These are some things I originally had designed to go in this album when I was thinking it was going to somebody else and I have just not needed all these added embellishments. So as I'm working through the journal, I'm just setting these aside and I may use them later. Um, I may send them to somebody, I don't know, but they're on hold, but don't you love this? I think this was from Joann's in that uh, discount section, uh, it's not on here, Mrs. Sparkle or something, Mrs. Sparkles. I love mason jar anything, so I had to, had to get those, but I can go back and add these to this if I need extra space, but so far this has just been more of a scrapbook, not so much a heavy duty journaling book. And I'll just point out quickly again, I, I know I've paged through this several times, but you can kind of see where I'm just putting things in that were given to us or things from events. And maybe just a little note to help me remember what something was about. But it's primarily a scrapbook, so I don't need all the journaling areas. Here's another one of these cool labels. And since I'm, where's my glue? Here it is wanting to fill up this book and uh, decide what to do next. I'm just going to try to fill in the space, but I do think these labels are fun. So I'm weird that way, I guess, but I think some of you understand where I'm coming from. You just like 
the look and color of things. This has kind of a fun little, it looks like it's kind of cracked and aged the way the label was designed, which by the way, no like sugar it. added to the sauce. That's why I bought it. So I was like, yes, thank you for not adding sugar because I'm trying not to do much of that. I had this from a purse, which actually I'm going to put that there because it is a purse that I bought to wear, uh, not wear, but have. Uh, when my friend passed away, I had to get a couple new clothes to wear to her visitation and to her funeral, and I needed a little dressier purse. I just have a real casual looking canvas bag. So, you know, it's, it's really sad and it's kind of, this is not a big deal, but it's just part of that whole event, I guess. And I'm just trying to commemorate it a little bit. Um, I did a few things earlier about her too. Anyway, that's a tough thing. I'm really gonna miss her. She was my best friend. Um, and then here, the little calendar page from a book that I found out on our bookshelf. <laughs> and I am just going to, mm, this has the month where she went to heaven. So, you know, she is, she is gone. Um, but I like to think of it as I keep picking up my new bottle of glue, but I want to use this old one. I believe I will see her again, and so I'm thinking of, even though she is gone, I will see her again, and she's just gone somewhere else. So that will have her month of moving on on there. I had her. I had a couple other things. Um, can't find them. My son is being weird in the background. And then today I went, my son and I, one of my sons, I have seven, I went with my youngest one to the resale shop and bought a cool old sewing machine drawer. This shop is awesome. It's called Elderberry Place. And um, they have all kinds of vintagey things, uh, old doors, old windows, bowls, and I love to buy, when I see them at a decent price, they're just like those old sewing machine drawers that were in a wooden cabinet. So I bought one to use for some of my scrapbooking supply, and I thought the label was kind of fun. So I'm putting that in there. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. I think I've gotten most of it. I'm going to add in a little announcement that speaks of when my husband and I went or signed up to be volunteers with Operation Christmas Child. Um, the area leader just put in the newsletter to say, hey, these guys are kind of heading up the prayer aspect of it. Or not heading it up as and telling everybody what to do, but just kind of being the go-to people, I guess. So anyway, I'll, I'll leave that maybe a little less about but that that'd be fun it's got a good word here embark and to us that was really a journey a step of faith because we weren't sure if we could do that you know we still have kids at home um yes, but we felt like this was a ministry that the two of us could do together or something we just love and i'm noticing here brilliant me stapled two pages together well that's okay i'll use that as a little tuck spot i tend to do things like that I just got new inserts and I glued several pages together accidentally. <laughs> so anyway, not the brightest bulb in the package. Um, so there we go. I have everything that was current that I had in my basket. I am throwing in there, like I said, little things that I think would be a fun embellishment. There's a bit of a glare, but isn't that lizard kind of cool? So I'm gonna cut around him and use him in journaling. Another thing that I, got the idea to do by just watching some YouTubers is saving postage stamps. So if there's something different, I will take those out off of the envelope and use them 
in the journal. So for example, let's go ahead and stick one in. We'll do this Sally Ride one. Uh, you can cut them out if you haven't done this. It's not too complicated. Sometimes you can, uh, I'm not going to try it, I'm going to rip it. You can peel off some of the envelope and make it a little thinner. It will create a little less bulk for your page. But I am past worrying about that too much because I'm near the end. So I'm just going to stick that there. And again, it just adds interest. It creates more of the collage effect that I really enjoy. The layers, um, more to look at. And then these were all U.S. flags. But they're all different, so those will go in here some way or another at some point. I have more. And let's see, I think, I think that's it. So I thank you very much for joining me. I hope uh, you're having fun doing your crafting or would love to hear what people are into crafting-wise. Or if you've done a scrapbook like this, if you've done more of this smash book style, as I, I like to call it, kind of no rhyme or reason, just everything everywhere. Let me know what has worked for you, what you like to do, if you have special effects that you like. Um, I just did a video on melting sealing wax and using the stampers to create some visual interest also on a journal page. So I will probably go get that in a minute and add a few things here and there and also go back and make a note or two of journaling just to keep track of things. I did show this last time, but I've got to show you again because I just love it. Do you see the deer ears popping out of the journal? That was from a sculpture park nearby, and they had a big flyer on this giant deer sculpture. And I just, I used to love deer. I still do, but as a little girl, I just was in love with deer. And anyway, so at this local park, there was this giant statue, and I took the flyer and cut it out and just left the ears sticking up because I just think that's really fun. So there we go. Thank you for watching me, um, watching this video, watching my hands. Uh, good to have you here. Thanks, and we will see you next time.